Close your eyes and show some respect for your desire to stay here. It's all too easy to make up your mind that you will stay here and then to sabotage it within two or three breaths. But you want to think about the quality of that original intention. It's for your own good, for your long-term welfare and happiness. So don't throw it away casually. This attitude of respect is something that the Buddha recommends in many areas. We respect our desire for true happiness. We respect those around us who are also on the path. There are things we can learn from one another. And the fact that there are other people practicing should give us encouragement, otherwise it gets very lonely on the path. And when you show respect to others, then they'll feel open to offer their criticism, but hopefully in a respectful way. And the worst things you can do is give criticism without respect. They've done experiments where they take couples and they wire them up with sensors to measure their pulse rate, their sweat rate, body temperature, things like that. And then they take short videos of them discussing an issue of minor irritation in their relationship. And it turns out the sensors are there to put people at their ease so they can act more naturally. In other words, they're worried about they're sweat. They're not worried about how they're speaking so much. What the researchers focus on are the micro-expressions going across their faces. They slow down the videos. And they've learned that if you can see any sign of a micro-expression of contempt that one side has for the other, that relationship will not last. So we want to have our we want to keep our admirable friends around. And if there's time for criticism, do it with respect. Make sure that your motives are right from the beginning. If your motives aren't right, then don't speak. There's words that come out with unskillful motives last for a long time. They hang in the air, like the smoke up in the sky. And they can color things for a long time. So if you're going to have any criticism, make sure you've got your mind straight first, that your motivation is clear, that it's compassionate, and you're doing it with respect. That way we live together. And as the Thais say, there is that tendency for those who live together closely to bite one another in the same way that the tongue and the teeth, because they're close together, the tongue gets bitten. But try to minimize the bite. And the, the pain is minimized. The, the danger and the damage is minimized. If we maintain this attitude of respect for what's good in one another, it makes it a lot easier to get along and a lot easier to practice. <laughs>